Yolanda's double brownie cake is calling to me. Can't wait for the finished recipe. I'm starting off with my favorite fudgy chocolate brownies. Instead of baking them in a rectangle pan, I bake them in two round cake pans that are eight inches. And what I'm gonna do is just remove them, put a little bit of parchment paper at the bottom of your pan. Parchment paper is your best friend. And the second component in this ultimate breakup cake is my favorite tried and true Italian meringue buttercream. I'm just gonna take some of this lovely buttercream, place a nice dollop onto my bottom brownie and then begin to spread. I have got chocolate chip cookie dough, eggless chocolate chip cookie dough, so no worries about eating it raw. I've rolled it into little balls. I used a scale, you can just eyeball, don't worry about it. And just think of a clock when you're placing them in your cake. So 12 o'clock, six o'clock, three o'clock, nine o'clock, and then fill in the middle, put one right in the center and make another little circle of six. Let's remember our gorgeous caramel we made earlier, which has come to room temperature, and you can see it gets a lot thicker, ooey gooey goodness. Just take a spoon and drizzle. And now it's time to add our top brownie. Center it right on. It's great to have your brownies chilled and your cookie dough chilled, and that way you've got the support for this heavy duty brownie. For the top of my cake, I'm actually going to pipe using just a plain round tip and a piping bag. And again, remember your clock and just do little mark. Now you can pipe your little mounds of buttercream, a little swirl, and this is gonna be topped off with, you guessed it, a ball of cookie dough. Now let's get our caramel just poured in the middle and use your spoon and you can just sort of guide it through all the little valleys. There you have it. I'm just gonna take it a step further and add a bit of pink Himalayan salt. Now tell me, did I mend your broken heart?